What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Angry Spud. In today's Spud Reacts, we have a very interesting one for you. We've been on this Norway kick and today's video is called Norway's Cuisine Unraveling the Worst Rated Food Mystery. Now, I don't really know what to expect other than the worst food from Norway, but I mean, your way to Norway is gonna let us know. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Hi guys, welcome to the worst and the saddest kitchen in the world. Tasteatlas.com just rated Norway as the worst cuisine among 95 countries in the world. The that is crazy, right off the bat. So out of all these countries, they got rated the worst? I wonder if it's because the sheep's head. <laughs> they were looking at uh, ingredients, dishes and beverages, and yes, we came last. Oh, wow. We are going to take a closer look at the most bland, boring, and uninspiring dishes in the world. Norway is known for high quality Norwegian salmon and all of that, Norwegian fish. But in Norway, we are not so fond of the salmon. So what we like is this, uh, I'm not sure if it's dog food, cat food, or human food. Wow, can you, what the? Can you guess what this is called? It looks like cheese almost. Uh, fish suffered. Yeah, it's called fish pudding. So you could, <gasps> what you could say that this is a typical tasteless dinner ingredient from Norway. It's processed fish. And even though we have a lot of quality fish in Norway, Norwegians wow. tend to prefer processed food. So Hold on, is that true? Somebody from Norway, come get your boy. Because that does not even look like fish. It looks like a block of cheese, first of all. And I thought they had some really good salmon and that's what I really want. Uh, I don't know about this processed canned catfish whatever like whatever that is that's gross so this is processed uh, fish and it's delicious yes and it's mixed with uh, flour and uh, milk i think and you can fry it and then you can pour some extra white sauce on it wouldn't that be too much yeah maybe i would so probably you can try some it carrots though. and not that sauce I would and still it's try it. Very easy to cut and slice. We we don't like uh, food to smell too much, and we don't like it to, to taste too much either. So this fish pudding, fish pudding, mm, tastes a little bit like jelly from salt water. Jelly and when from you salt come to water. Norway, you can expect to have some variations of this processed fish. It could be like this, uh, looking like a dog food. It could be a more classic pudding form, or it can come as small little fish balls. Hold on a second. I'm just not realizing. Why is he calling it the saddest kitchen in the world? Is he talking about his kitchen because he's got all this food out there and that's the kitchen and it's not really the kitchen of Norway? Or is it the kitchen of Norway? Because that goes hand in hand with having the worst food, so. Come on, look, look, I don't know what kind of mess I got into, but this is interesting. But all, always in the same color, the same tasteless quality, and the same pudding jelly-like yeah, texture you can see here. And the best thing with this here is it really is fast to eat. I mean, you can just, this one you can eat and uh, oh my goodness! Within, it's effective. Very efficient. Very Wait, efficient. I wonder. I wonder what the nutrients on is. That like a ton of protein if it's all fish, and I wonder how many fish it took to make that. Food doesn't taste anything. No friction. No uh, resistance. It's you just don't want right to think. Down. No, it's true. Mm. This is on the menu on a Norwegian restaurant. The first, fish the first pudding. Course. First wow. course. Well, the ingredients. As you know, we're going to be a little more complex uh, later on. But I mean, this is just a start. It's the beginning of your Norwegian culinary journey. We yeah, have a is. lot of very, well, not exciting, more tame and dull stuff on our way. The fish pudding, 
it's a typical everyday dish. <coughs> but now we are going to look at some of our more classical dishes. And here we have real variation. And maybe not as boring as the fish pudding. And yes, guys, I know you Norwegian will now start screaming, we don't eat it from a can or a paper uh -oh. box. Is it true? We make it ourselves. And it's okay, but even though we do that, some of you do, most of people buy it like this. This is really something. Here you find the heart and soul and everything we are as a Norwegian cultural food okay. nation. This is a Norwegian classic. And I will start. And I just realized he's using the table, literally the trash can lid as a table. I, I just realized that. How funny. Much loves this. It's called light lapskos. Light mm. and lapskos and light. You have to. You will see that it's a light brown. I think this light lees and lapskos. Oh my God! This is the top of what you can have in Norway. It actually look does here. look good. It also looks like a uh, dumpling, dumpling pet food. soup or something. No, <laughs> wait, it looks like you eat it, it looks honey? like. But look at the beautiful light color. I mean, this is something more than the white fish pudding. Mm. Look it there. looks like potato. It's it's really really lovely. I actually would Welcome eat that. Welcome to the restaurant. Yeah. So when this you lady come wants to no Norway, you will for sure be served this dish. And the the thing here is that you take potato, you take carrot, you take take some onion, and you have some meat. Is it meat? This one here. Yeah, so is it yeah. meat? <laughs> Something. Mm. But you don't have to put it on a plate. You can eat it from the box. Yeah, of course. But now we are at the pop-up restaurant. You're, you're idiot. But as oh, I promise you, as I promise you, it's a freaking like, dumpster. This is a light. Here you have a lighter version. And then, mm. now we just need some variation. This is why it's so, the worst kitchen in the world. This one is the other one. This is called dark brown. And here you can see we have the brown version. And, and it has that same Norwegian wishy-washy texture. This is reminding me of MREs from the military, straight up. And the smell of some food that has been stored for many years. <laughs> so at our Norwegian pop-up restaurant, here you are served. Okay, I put a chamber music. Da -da -da. Sir, for your Norwegian dinner today, two variation of Darker and lighter lapskos. It really is Lops our coast. national pride and joy. It tastes like Michelin. Of course, Norwegian Michelin. La, 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 I thought la, you said Michelin la, 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 at first, la, la. Michelin. Are you enjoying the <laughs> culinary journey through Norway so far? Okay. Yeah, that's actually way better than the... Um, I forget the word. It was like shapalov or something like that. The, the sheep's head, I think. I don't know if those were the same thing, but that, I mean, that's way better than that for sure. Would you like to eat this uh, lapis case? Yeah. Would you prefer the light version, light brown or dark brown? What's the difference in taste? Nothing. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Norway, we are a part of the world. So we are taking... We are international! Yes, we are international. Mm. This dish, if you ask Norwegians, they will say this is the best pasta dish in the world. And oh. here again we are on a can. And yes, I Ooh. know some of you prefer to make it on your own at home. Spaghetti? It's called spag spaghetti alla la carte. Yeah. It's so easy. Whoa, what they it's say? So, it's such 
I mean, in Italia, go home. You can never. They have an Italian guy here. Yeah, but you can. Let me see that Italian yeah, guy. Yeah, but but you you uh, Italian guys, you stand no chance. Norway just made the best pasta dish in the world. You left behind. Look at this oh. vital, Brain vibrant, off. quality pasta. And I know you guys from Italy are, are probably screaming, throwing stuff at the TV, like just listening to this guy talk. I mean, but this does look good though. Look, these sausages. It's look, isn't it exotic? Aren't you exotic? Hungry? <laughs> Do you have water in your mouth now? Look, this is actually one of my favorite. Things. It's those, cute. those cans it's are big, big though, too. And and pasta, you know, the the stupid <laughs> Italians, they want to make the pasta al dente. Yeah. But in Norway, Dry. we want to make it Slush. as slushy as possible. Because then you don't have to bother chewing. No, you can just chewing. swallow. Yeah. And, 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 and I mean, this crushed pasta, it's so easy. You can have them right in the wings, like infusion. They're about to make some people mad, I feel like. And it tastes absolutely nothing. <laughs> and what? that's the best because it I mean... It tastes spaghetti alla capri. Yes, nothing. Because there is no taste. It's a bit al dente, that bowl. The bowl, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but... but mm. it, I, can't, I can't feel the difference between the pasta and the meatball. It's like the same. Can you? Could, How can, would you describe them? The 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 balls around the pasta looks like uh, the rest of the bread. Yeah. Okay. So so it's for, just visual. So for Norwegians, I feel like, it's in, I feel like we have this here in America. Like I've had that plenty of times growing up. It looks very very familiar. Important that everything on your plate uh, tastes the same and tastes nothing, and it's very easy to eat because for us Norwegian. Food is like fueling your car with gas. That's true. I mean, we we want to do it fast. We are not sitting around the table and waiting and blah de blah de blah. What we need is frictionless food. Mmm. This is the top. I mean, I I, I think that if we went to Italy with this uh, can. I think the Italians would be Sorry. Yeah, and they would have more of this. You might they, be, they'd wondering, be pulling their hair out. What is wrong with those guys? Why don't they have any taste this? What why not why everything is bland? Well that's not true. Don't listen to the critiques. We have of course we have herbs and spices and everything. I mean my god. First we have salt. Salt is the fundament for our rich and flat taste. And then we add some spicy pepper to spicy make it Spicy pepper? Ooh. And one, only one bay leaf to make it a bit less depressing. <laughs> and finally, in the weekends, you can also use one garlic. clove of garlic. Yeah. And that's it. And now in the end, we're going to dander a dish. You know, a yeah. typical Norwegian dish with uh, vegetables. Uh, more fresh vegetables, <gasps> of course. Is that kjotkaker? Kjotkaker. I remember that word. I feel like it's um, kjotkaker or something like that. High quality vegetables. Those vegetables that have makes you have juices in your mouth. And it comes from this package. As you know, Norwegians, we love processed food. And we're going to, to make uh, uh, meat cakes. Shatkake. Mm -hmm. oh, and you see that? Friend. It looks like Swedish uh, meatballs. And I think they are very inspired by those. It looks like something <laughs> from your body. And since we are frugal, not more than two, of course. And then... Oh, those... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Packages. Those yeah, practical packages. Those practical. And here you have 
it's almost unrecognizable, but Is it's a potato. Oh my god. But you have to put it in the micro. Yeah, but um, I know, you know, we like our food uh, really mushy and wishy washy. Uh, and then it's weird that it's all coming in a box, though. I feel like that's not something that should or would come in a box, but it does. That's interesting. And of course, we are no stranger for colors. <laughs> so, carrots. Mmm, mm, watery and lovely. And look, here we have really. Mm. I bet people are like cringe with this video, like real hard. Look, a lovely dish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Hmm. Something Where's is your missing. Lead? Your lead. No. Yeah. And the garlic. Okay. Yeah. 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 Of course. The gravy. Our sauce. Our national sauce. I almost forget. I mean, we are not stupid. We are a culinary nation, and we are that new Nordic nation. And you know, we huh. love to have. We have to have something extra to make it a Norwegian dish. And you go. Where's he going? There it is! Oh okay. my gosh, is he really? Of course, brown sauce! Because in Short. Norway... Oh my gosh. Yes, it will not be dinner before we have our special brown sauce on everything. And this brown sauce, uh. you will find it in all more or less all Norwegian dishes. You can either have it brown like that, or you can have a white variant of it. Yeah, and that's not white. we need something to drink, <laughs> of course. Oh, white. Yes. We have some real, the most popular uh, drink to a dinner dish in Norway. And it's very typical Norwegian, actually, no other country drinks this as much as we do. Oh, it's a, and, it's and a traditional Norwegian yeah. drink. And it could, of course, be water from the nature because we have lovely water. But since you guys are special, we have a special Norwegian pop-up restaurant. We couldn't only have water. We what is it? We have to have our most popular dinner dish. Oh, and yeah. that is mm -hmm. Pepsi Max. We can't get enough of Pepsi Max. Is that, do you guys really drink a lot of Pepsi Max there or any Pepsi in general? I don't even remember the last time I've ever had that. It's been years and years, seriously. So if you ever wonder why Norway uh, was rated the worst kitchen in the world by Taste Atlas, well, this is your answer. Is it a lot of Norwegian restaurants in the world? I mean, have you ever been to a Norwegian? Have you ever seen a Norwegian restaurant? Yeah, I have. <laughs> but have you guys? No. I don't know. I have never seen it, it except of our today, the fattest uh, <laughs> kitchen in the world. But it's the first. It's the first. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys have seen one. So what, which di dish did you prefer? What are you looking forward to your next stay in Norway? Give us your comments. We love them. And until next time, see you. See you. Sing a little song about bread. I would say not all of that food looked bad. I, I kind of, I would have eaten probably all of that, honestly, except for that fish in the beginning. It was a little weird. I'd still try it, but that was definitely weird. Now that brown gravy, if he would have actually eaten that like right in front or just kind of scooped it up at first i thought i don't know maybe a dog walk, walked by and uh had a little accident or something because that was kind of gross he scooped that up and put that on there would you try that i don't know but that's all i have for this video norway what else you got for me